Hello, I'm Joe Cornbrook, and I'm here with another update for your favorite unreleased documentary, What We Left Behind, a look back at Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Now, as a producer slash editor of the film, I haven't been seen much in these updates. Ira says it's because once I start talking, it's kind of hard to shut me up. Which reminds me of a story. We were up at Skywalker Ranch working on the sound mix for our film. Now, Skywalker Ranch, as many of you may know, is the main production facilities for George Joe, Lucas. Focus. Focus. Right. Now, let me get to the point. I have some exciting news for you. What We Left Behind has officially been picked up by Shout Studios, a distributor of classic and contemporary films. You'll see something about it in the press over the next few days. Now, you may ask yourself, why does that matter to me? You've been ready to see the film since you contributed to it. What it means for you is that you may get to see our beautiful HD remasters on the big screen. And a big screen means an even bigger audience. And a bigger audience means more people talking about Deep Space Nine. And more people talking about Deep Space Nine means CBS may finally wisen up and remaster the whole series in HD like we've all been hoping for. Hope. Reminds me of a Christmas long ago when a young boy, me, was hoping Joe. for... Joe! But that's not important now. What is important is we've got a plan to share the film with you, our backers, first before the public release. Now, we can't say anything about it just yet, so stay tuned, and in the next few weeks, we'll share some exciting details with you. In the meantime, Luke Kai and I will continue to take those standard deaf clips and make them the most beautiful Deep Space Nine clips you've ever seen, while Dave and Ira sit with their feet up on the desk debating the merits of which old-school TV detective could run faster, Frank Cannon or Barnaby jo Joseph! Just teasing. Thank you.